Time for some African politics, my friends. Oh, feeling it. Wait, this can't be real. Is Nigeria like the most corrupt country here? It is. Zero is highly corrupt, so the closer to zero, right? Nice. Corruption gets stuff done, you know? So, uh, yeah, I'm 100% in them. Nigeria it is. The fresh Democratic Party. Fucking yes. And I don't even care we run against because we're fucking fresh, dude. Like, we got the fucking fresh antics. We'll go up against the People's Revolutionary Democratic Front. They sound suitably nasty. We're going to have hurricanes. We're going to have earthquakes. Get it all in. Bump. Health is pretty bad. Education is pretty bad. We have better crime rates than we did in our socialist utopia, though. So... Oh, lordy lord, what's happening here? Oh, and lots of political capital, though. Right. Whoa, this is this is a tough one. This, let's have a look at our cabinet, like... Oh, mate, he's got a hat. Anthony Etim. What a boy. He's down with the youth, he's down with liberals, like... Yo, me and Etim till the fucking end, like, till the bitter end. What about this guy? Ayobu... Ayobamadeli Oni. Benjamin Bello, I like it. Uh, there's a lot of liberal love in this fucking cabinet. Like, are we gonna have to be liberal? Liberal Nigerians, like... Shit, what does Nigeria even need? Let's have a look at our problems. What's this? AIDS. <laughs> For fuck's sake. It can't just be AIDS. That can't just be a thing. Just there, big red circle, AIDS. That's mental. I mean, look at our science program. We've just discovered test tubes, according to this. This is fucking unreal. We do need... we got to take a bite out of AIDS. Like, that's got to happen at some point. Like, I, I, listen. If there's one thing we need to commit to, it's AIDS. Like, we got to fucking... we got to get rid of AIDS, like... That, I, I want that red circle out of my sight. Like, AIDS has to go. Was that a razor blade? Oh my god! What the fuck is this game? Why is that there? Jesus Christ! How am I getting rid of that? Wait, policies. Oh lord, I forgot. what What's going to be in here then? i got to be careful, though. We can't just implement feminism in Nigeria. Like, the fucking... That's a show of fire way to get fucking overthrown or assassinated. Jesus. Let's have a look in the opinion poll. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, KB. What do you have to say? Right, let's have a look at the policies they like. They like drugs. Wait, what is the current abortion law? Limited circumstances. I don't even know who you need to appeal to, right? Hang on, that, that's, that's, that's the key thing. Let's get a strategy. See, Patriots. I never know about the Patriots. He's, he's a real Patriot. <laughs> Tax breaks for foreign investors. Like, we're Nigeria. We should be one of the wealthiest countries in the world. We're oil rich. We got diamonds. We got fucking minerals. You know. Yeah, fuck it, I'm drilling. Fuck the environmentalists. Ugh. The cost, the terrible cost. Are we ever going to get that back? It's going to boost the oil supply and boost the GDP. That's got to be a good thing. Oh, fuck it. Let's go all in. Yeah, they're being welfare. There it is. Fuck it, let's ban that, man. Let's just get rid of that today. Like, fuck that shit. That's a heavily enforced ban. Like, that. That is going. Like, I'm not having any of that on my watch. Out you go. The GDP's up. We're at 0% in the polls. We're at 0% in the polls. People weren't ready for the for the genital mutilation ban. And we do need to raise some taxes. That's absolutely correct. I think we do need to... Alcohol? It's not even going to make that much money, is it? How much money? Just a little boost, maybe. Just a little boost. Uh, must I put money into schools? And we got power blackouts. We got... Uh, in, mate, Nigeria's a mess. It's a mess. 
I can't. Cheap imports can be damaging the economy. Import tariffs. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Tariffs. Import tariffs. There it is. Yeah, all right. That's good. 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 Sell the oil? I want to. Why can't I? Why isn't it just a thing? Wreck America. Like, by like selling them expensive oil. Why isn't that an option here? There has to be an option. I mean, look at this. As if that's a thing I can actually do when my people are starving in the streets. Like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, I'll get right on that Mars problem. Like, fucking hell. At least no one's tried to shoot me yet. Unemployment down. Crime down. Poverty staying. Oil drilling opportunity. There isn't... This is what we needed. This is what we've needed. Oil companies are keen to get permission to drill for oil in part of the country. Protected. Fuck the wildlife. The oil supply is under the refuge considerable, but the drilling will have a negative impact on the environment. Allow the drilling. Allow it. Drill. Drill away. Oh, we have got a water shortage. Fucking hell. Oh, my curing water, for fuck's sake. Boost our tourism. That, that is a thing. That has to happen. Right. Okay, crime. Right, this, this thing called food crisis doesn't sound very good. I know, <laughs> lower the food demand exactly. Just fucking starve people. Oh, God. Agriculture subsidies. Okay. Let's do it then. Let's go big. Go big to solve the food crisis. Excellent. Well spotted, guys. Human rights. See, no one even likes human rights. They'd all love the food stamps, though. We don't have any food, but we'll give you the stamps. Reasonable. Jesus Christ. A high-ranking government official has been assassinated by terrorists. How can we expect candidates to step forward to lead their country when facing... I agree. We're back up to 1% in the polls. So there's that, I guess. Luxury goods? I mean... Like, yeah, fuck it, man. Tax the high spenders. For sure, like... Look, we can make 250 billion. 80% tax on luxury goods. Right. Yes! I cured AIDS! I have cured AIDS! And I solved the food crisis. And we're up to 6% in the polls. Thank you very much. And all it took was me curing hunger and AIDS. Fucking hell. Yeah, like, guys, seriously, like, trying to fix Nigeria. I mean, it was fun when we were just fascists or communists. This is, like, mental. This is, like, this is, like, destroying my brain. <sighs> we're still only at 101 billion deficit. And now we've got obesity. I think we were starving two months, two turns ago. Oh, Lord. 41% in the polls. 41%. See what happens when people get fat and soft? 41%. What a bump. What a bump. Left of war. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got it. Thank you. Purify. Done. Wait, what? From 41% to 5? All I did was make your water clean. How did that fucking happen? I gave you clean water and you... Nah, I don't need to vote for you now. Thanks. Oh, and 77 political capital. Thank you very fucking much. Right. Time to do some fucking mad shit here then. National anthem at the start of news. Where's this been all my life? This boosts our patriotism. This is fucking sick. Let's get that in, right? Public, public religious broadcasts. Oh, mate, we can just brainwash everyone. Ah, this is it. Nuclear stuff. Hmm. Not very popular. And we are an oil-rich country. 
CC. I mean, like, we could just bring in the death penalty. Like, everyone seems to like that for fucking a bit of banter. Bet they even like the police drones. Torture use is popular as fuck. Like, mandatory microchip implants. That's popular as well. How does that fix any problem that we have in Nigeria? Like, how does that fucking fix anything? Having a microchip put in you. Now you're starving, but you've got a microchip in you. How does that help? Ban homosexuality? Mad popular. Mad popular if we just ban it. Totally win over the religious people if I just ban homosexuality. Light bulb ban? Jesus Christ. Homeless assistance program. You know, that feels like it's a good thing. Yeah, go on. I'm in. Yeah, more, yeah, you're right. More people wanted microchips put in them than they wanted a fucking house. What's going on in this country? I can't figure it out. This is fine. Right, now what was the thing I was going to fucking do now? Yeah, there we go. Look at that, 63 political capital. Let's get some fucking... Where were those fucking national anthems? There it is. No, wait, no. Let's get it on the TV first. The newsreader sings the national anthem. Look at that. You can have it so it's on all channels, state channels. The newsreader sings... The national anthem, like, fucking, of course we're going to do that. Why wouldn't we do that? That's fucking brilliant. Done. And there's the other one. Get it in the schools. Oh, do teacher sings? All schools. You're never too old to love your country. Perfect. Do I want to tax superstores? I feel that's bad. I feel like Idi Amin actually did that in Uganda, didn't he? But it is, it's a popular tax that'll generate money. All right, fuck them. Family planning. <laughs> oh, look how unpopular it is. Like, just giving people rubbers. Look how unpopular it is. Like, look how unpopular human rights are. Mental. An egalitarian miracle. We may not all look alike or sound alike, but under your leadership, we all now feel equal with our fellow man, woman, other. And isn't that the most important thing? That's how I'm rolling. It's because I, I cured female genital mutilation, right? AIDS, gone. Hunger, gone. FGM, gone. Poverty, down. And airplanes crash. And I'm still only at 22% of the polls. These people don't know what they need. They don't know what they need. There it is. State housing. Let's just do it. Fuck it. I'm in. 130 billion to state housing. So let's get that fucking international situation jacked up. I don't even care about the money now. It's going to give us a boost to immigration, boost to international trade, boost to foreign relations. Everybody loves it publicly. Boom. Import tariffs on international trade. 83 political capital. What demented policy should we throw in before the election? Fuck it. Let's throw... Let's just win the election. What are we going to bring in? Law and order. What do you like? They love ID cards. They love an ID card. They love an ID card. Internet censorship. They love it. Death penalty. Let's bring back... Let's bring the death penalty to Nigeria. Let's bring the death penalty. No, wait, no, that's three quarters to implement. I need something that's like one quarter, like instantaneous, that's going to make everybody love me. Legal aid. Private prison. Oh, they love private prisons. They will just love them. They love tasers. Why oh, are you being tasers, okay? Intellectual property rights. It's no good. It's eight quarters away. Religious law. Oh, shit, we could have brought in Sharia. Missed it the whole time. Torture use. That's two quarters as well. Hang on, how many quarters have we got left? It's one turn, isn't it? Yeah, it's one turn. So it's got to be instant. Like, whatever we bring in has to just give us an instant bump in the fucking polls. What cynical gibberish. I mean, 
Don't make me press the button. Don't make me press the button. Ban divorce. There you go. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Why? I'm not banning homosexuality. It's bad enough being gay in Nigeria. Um, ban divorce, I guess. Oh, if only I could just implement torture. Flags on every street corner. We should be. You know what? I like that. Flags on every street corner. Boom. Every street. Let's get some jingoism going before the election. We definitely need a bit of that. National service. One quarter. Perfect. This is it. This is what we needed. National service. One year. You do one year in the military, you get fit. You get a uniform. There we are. All right, well... It's the big one. Come on. And that, my friends, is how you win an election. I solved our water shortage and also lowered the demand. I made people need less water while providing more. Corruption on its way down. Wages up strength of our currency up by five percent i got more people off the bottle cured alcohol consumption we got private schools down thanks to an increase in state schools the middle class and the poor thrived under my leadership 27 percent increase for the middle class 79 percent increase in real terms for the poor brought unemployment down by 33 percent 33 equality between everyone up poverty down by almost 50 percent an 85 percent drop in violent crime and a 38 percent drop in crime it was an unexpectedly close election this is where we're going to end it by the way the opposition gained more support than expected in the last election Rather than risk their leader becoming more popular and a threat to our political dominance, reason could be found to have them arrested. Hmm. Let democracy take its course. Well, listen. Think we lock him up, get him out the way. We're going in to the next election, 67% of the vote. He's been gulag, we got rid of him. Right, well, now I'm going to have to save it, aren't I? So we can continue. Do a second term sometime.